the cooking of the paella for lunch. It's a big thing here, and um, that's a decent sized paella plate. It's going to have all sorts of wonderful uh, ingredients, and um, apparently when it's finished, about six kilos of, uh, of paella. Putting all the bits and pieces together on the fire, um, supervised of course by Mauricio. And uh, some of the things have been prepared already. The red capsicum has been cooked in the in the coals, and there's chicken and pork and onions and tomato and man, there's all sorts going into it. The soup part, the liquid part for the rice, has been done with uh, fish heads, so it'll be really something. I'm going to go more of the ingredients. So now we've got the chicken and the pork and the uh, sausage. So, uh, all being mixed in this fantastic uh, paella dish. Now the mix is thickening up. Then the pork has been added, and the onions, and the uh, chopped up uh, peppers, uh, capsicums, and uh, a bit more oil, and boy, what a beautiful mixture. And now the final step, on goes the soup. So on goes the rice, the next step and I think the final step will be the, uh, the soup. The soup has been pre-prepared, the soup is a fish head soup and that will go in and that will make the final part of this very intense uh, paella as compared to many of the commercial ones you might get in a normal restaurant. This has got a lot more meats. Uh, it is not just 90% rice. And the la one last step, the final touch. On goes the uh, already baked in the coals uh, capsicum, red capsicum. So this will now sit until it's evaporated down That'll be our fantastic paella. Uh, now, about 15 minutes later, and the bubbling has died down, the rice has absorbed the moisture, and look at that. And maybe now, you can actually hear it cracking. Yeah, that's a paella. <laughs>